Hello there, everybody. Professor Cleary and his lesbian haircut here taking a brief afternoon off from laboratory work to perform some vital research in the medical field. You see, we get a lot of tweets from you guys asking us if we know when your favourite wrestlers will be returning from injury. And the obvious answer is, well, of course we do. Well, what culture wrestling for f**k's sake? Anyway, yes, to save us all a tedious exchange of correspondence, I have the complete injured list for WWE here, along with their official medical prognosis. So my name is Adam Cleary, and this is every injured WWE star and when they'll return. Number 12, Epico. Epico has been out of action in WWE since having shoulder surgery in late July, but without wishing to be too unkind, you probably... Probably didn't even notice that he went for that, did you? The guy hasn't been on television since the 4th of July last year. There's frankly no news on his return yet, and the guy's being decidedly quiet about it all over on social media. That, plus the unspecified nature of the surgery itself, makes a diagnosis on my part literally impossible. Good start to the video, this. Number 11, Gnome Dar. Injured in a fatal... Uh, but uh, we don't actually need to watch this one. Hello, Adam from the present here visiting Adam from the past. That's actually quite a nice shirt. Anyway, yeah, Gnome Dar's already come back from injury. But, you know, the content banter cycle here at What Culture sometimes means you record something and then by the time it goes out, things have already changed. So, yes, Dar's back. I do say in this entry, though, that uh, he'd be back any day now. So, I mean, technically, I was right. But we can just... We can fast forward through this one. We don't need to... Yep, there we go. Oh, hang on. Back a bit. Right, there you go. Thanks. Number 10, Tamina. Back in February, Tamina underwent surgery for a torn rotator cuff, having agreed to work the first Women's Royal Rumble, carrying the injury. This is her second bit of major surgery in just two years. Typically, all arthroscopic repair jobs require a recuperation period of four to six months, which means we could see Tamina back as soon as SummerSlam. We just won't for many other reasons. Number nine, Samia Singh. Way back in January, Samia suffered a nasty ACL tear while laying a beat down on Bobby Roode, and the whole gender angle just hasn't been the same since. That sort of injury will keep him on the shelf for up to eight months, meaning he'll be back taking bumps for gender towards the end of this year. Number eight, Bobby Fish. The undisputed era's Bobby Fish was forced into surgery to repair both an ACL and an MCL injury that he suffered back in March. Since then, we've seen Roderick Strong and Adam Cole filling in for him, and, well, they could both be doing so for a while yet. Doing both your ACL and your MCL at the same time is a horrendous, horrendous injury, so we won't be seeing hide nor hair of him until the end of this year, at the very least. December earliest for Fish. Number seven, Tino Sabatelli. The former Tampa Bay Buccaneer was taken out of action for the rest of the entire year when he suffered an injury working Velveteen Dream back in May. Took a drop kick to the chest, suffered a severe pectoral tear, and that was it. That was his year. The prognosis for the big man was a very strict nine months on the shelf, meaning we won't see him back until February 2019. Number six, Riddick Moss. Something of a witch's curse going around full sail at the minute, which obviously, as a man of science, I don't believe in, as Riddick Moss tore his Achilles tendon a week after him and Sabatelli had filmed their breakup angle. There might be a slight element of fortune to this, although I doubt either of them are going to see it this way, in that they were going to do a story together, but they got injured at the same time, and they are out for pretty much the exact same time. So their returns should both coincide at around January, February 2019. Is this preferable to one of them not being injured and having to do something else? Uh, no, it's not. Number five, Sin Cara. All right, I'll be honest, not really sure on this one. Andrade Cien Almas put Sin Cara on the shelf back on SmackDown, and reports are that that is to disguise the fact that Sin Cara actually needs time off for an injury. But we don't know if that's true yet. Either it is, and the guy's now officially on the shelf with an unspecified injury and thus an unspecified return date, or it's just a work and he'll be back whenever. I don't know. Number four, Jason Jordan. Jason Jordan was scheduled to face Seth Rollins at WrestleMania until he picked up a neck injury in February. Now, this was obviously a blessing for both men as it got Seth Rollins' first IC title run and spared Jason Jordan from that really awful Kurt Angle, 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 Angle. Kurt's bastard son should be back on your television screens any time now. The guy is fully recovered from his injury. They're just, I don't know, I guess, waiting to reintroduce him to some kind of storyline. I don't know, I'm a doctor, not a booker. Number three, Randy Orton. Randy Orton had a spell on the operating theatre table back in May to correct a torn medial meniscus, very similar to the one Gnome Dawes got. He did say, though, that he'd been waiting for the right time to get his knee cleaned out. 
The Viper was given a two to three month recovery time, meaning he could be back to entertain us all by SummerSlam. Hooray! Number two, Charlotte. Things went tits up for Charlotte after she suffered a ruptured breast implant back in May, which would require surgery to correct. <laughs> you get it? Tits up. Oh, God, what am I doing? With this not being a particularly urgent issue, she decided to wait until after Money in the Bank to do so, which means she's going in there right about now. Technically, she isn't out of action yet, and I'm stupidly recording this right before SmackDown, so I don't even know if she's still on TV. But whenever she does go under the knife, she's going to be out for about a month. Number one... Dean Ambrose. Back in December, the lunatic fringe suffered an absolutely horrendous high-grade tricep tendon injury, meaning that 50% of the muscle on his tricep, I'm, I'm all muscle, I don't know which one that is, was ripped clean from the bone. That is gross! After successfully undergoing surgery, an imminent Ambrose return has been rumoured pretty much every week since WrestleMania. But given the recuperation time for this kind of injury, a late August, early September time frame makes the most sense. So there you have it. That's every single injured WWE star and the official medical prognosis that I read from more qualified doctors. Let us know what you made of it in the comments below, as well as how you'd like to see these guys return as and when they do. There's the subscribe button. Give us a click if you haven't already. If you want to watch some more videos, here is our Money in the Bank fallout just for you. Don't say I don't spoil you. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. I have been Professor Dr. Mr. Cleary, and I'll see you soon.